Hello everyone. So we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to solve two questions which was recently asked in interview. These are Python coding related question. The first question is like we had to remo remove a duplicate from array or list. The second question is like we had to sort the array without using a inbuilt function. So these are the two questions we are going to solve. Let's start with the first question. We had to remove a duplicate. So you can see this is the list and here you can see multiple duplicates values are present, right? Our requirement is like we had to remove a duplicate from this particular list. How actually we can write a code for this. So what I will write first, I will try to loop it for I in L print I. Let me show you whether I am able to loop and whether I am able to read all the number one by one or not. So you can see I am able to loop it and I am able to read it. What I will do, I will create an one empty list. So I am defining A as a variable. This is the empty list I am creating. Now after that I will write a condition. If I, if I not in A, then what I will do? A dot append I. A dot append I. This is a simple one what I am writing. So what I am checking, I have just written one single condition. First I am looping all the thing one by one and I am trying to append it. So first one, first it is like one right. If we will check whether one is present here or not, one is not present then what actually it will do, it will append it. Now coming to the second one, two, two it will check whether two is present into the A or not, two is not present so it will append it. Now coming to the third index, this is a 2. Again for 2, what actually it will do? It will check whether A is present here or not. It is already present, right? Then what actually it will do? It will skip because this condition is not satisfying, right? If I is not in A, if this value is not in uh, this particular list, then only we have to do append. So that is the condition actually I have applied. Now let's try to print the A. Let's see whether we are getting only the unique values or not. I'm doing a print. So this is a new list. Now you can see only the unique value we can see and whatever the duplicate value was present here right we have removed that. So like this actually we can remove a duplicate. Coming to the second question little bit tricky. What actually we had to do? We had to sort this. Uh, so they will give you one random list and what actually they will say? They will say to sort this. We have to sort the array. So they will give you list of array like this and they will say like you have to sort that like 1, 2, 3, 4, then 22, 55 like this it should come right. Now what generally we do we use an inbuilt function like this right but they will say don't use an inbuilt function. Without using inbuilt function you have to sort this like use a for loop, while loop or any approach in a python. So what I will do for he this uh, sorting I will initiate this with this and I will use a for while loop i is less than length of length of my array minus 1 uh, and after that uh, let me uh, write this then I will explain you I will write one condition if a i greater than a i plus 1 then what I will do a i a i plus 1 means I will try to swap it equal to a i plus 1 a i and i equal to minus 1 and i plus equal to 1 and uh, let me print a let's see whether it's working or not then I will explain you so you can see it got sorted now let's change this let me make 11 here as an input and let me execute this so you can see 11 coming here it's working uh, fine it's sorted so what actually we are doing here there are multiple ways to so, uh, sort this this is one of the way which I am showing so what I am doing I am initiating with a 0 I am initiating with a 0 index I am checking I am this loop is going till i less than length of a minus 1 because till here whatever the index right till here only it will go. So that's why I have written this. Now after that I am checking if AI what is AI? AI is 0 right? If AI AI means I is our 0 if it is a greater than 
a i plus 1 means 1. So what I am checking whether 11 is greater than 22 or not. If 11 is greater than 22 then what I what we will do we will try to swap it. So suppose we have a 11 and the 22. If this value if this value is greater than this then we will swap it. So suppose here 111 is there and here 22. So I am checking whether 111 is greater than 22 or not. If it is a greater than then what we will do we will try to swap like this 22 like this. So this is the approach for that I have written this condition if a i is greater than a i plus 1 then what actually we are doing we are trying to swap it. We are trying to swap it and like this we are increasing the this value so that one by one we will check all those uh, value which is present here and uh, like this actually we are swapping. So this is the approach but there are multiple ways to solve the same question so do try this is the important one.